Hi, this is Dr. Bob, and we are dealing today with questions from our fans at Facebook. And if you haven't been to our Facebook site with Faith Defenders, you ought to do that. You also ought to join our Twitter team and get involved, as well as our website, faithdefenders.com. Here's another good question. How can I convince a Roman Catholic about the Protestant doctrine of sola scriptura? Not solo scriptura. Uh, now, you must understand there's a difference between sola and solo. Solo scriptura is the isolationist idea that the only authority that I will listen to is the Bible, period. I don't care what my pastor says. I don't care what my church says. I don't care for the creeds and confessions and the church fathers and all of that. It's the Bible and the Bible alone. First of all, that's nonsense. You can't do that. So, uh, that's solo. You can't even have electricity then. You can't, can't drive in a car. Sola Scriptura, the doctrine of the Reformation, is that the Bible is the greatest authority among many. There is the authority of the parents, the authority of the husband, the authority of the pastor, the authority of the church, the authority of creeds and confessions and church fathers. You appreciate the authority of, uh, of human logic and reason. These things have a voice that you need to consult. But the final say on whether a doctrine is true is it clearly taught in Scripture? If it isn't, then it is not mandatory for you to believe it. You can say it's my personal opinion, fine. Take it or leave it. Pay your knuckle and take it or leave it. So sola scriptura, uh, you must define it carefully. Secondly, base it on Scripture. If you turn over to 1 Corinthians chapter 4, Verse 6, brothers and sisters, I have applied this to Apollos and myself for your sake. You should learn from us not to go beyond what is written in Scripture. Then you won't arrogantly place one of us in opposition to the other. The Apostle Paul says the old rabbinic maxim, do not go beyond what is written in Scripture. Don't go beyond that. When it comes to the final authority of what you believe and how you live, that's doctrine and morals, the Bible alone is the final court of appeal, the final authority. Yes, you recognize other authority, but the final authority. And that's what this text is saying. Surprisingly, the Roman Catholic translators do it correctly. Do not go beyond what is written when it comes to doctrine and morals.